You guys have probably seen major named athletes Instagramming themselves walking into this chamber. Today, we are gonna check out cryotherapy and see if this crazy wellness trend is really worth the hype. We are here at CryoLife with Chris. He's gonna tell us a little bit about the benefits of cryotherapy. I've done cryotherapy a few awesome. different times. I'm like an enthusiast, so an expert. <laughs> I was super excited to come and check it out today. Today, we're gonna be doing the uh, cryo sauna, and basically what you're gonna be doing is enter the, the machine here, which is a chamber, uh, and you stay in it for three minutes. The temperature is about negative, more or less, uh, 256 degrees Fahrenheit, and uh, it's, pretty it's, it's pretty cold, <laughs> but it's actually not as uncomfortable as you think. Mm -hmm. And you're there for three minutes with an attendant here obviously watching you and talking to you, making sure you feel good. And uh, you come out and you feel great. Why do you think cold therapies have kind of like made a resurgence and that people are so like enamored by the technology? For one thing, it's very old. They've been doing it for thousands of years. It's the, actually the Greek word cryo, where cryotherapy comes from, um, was a, the, you know, getting into cold water mm -hmm. was considered a, a health therapy. In this case, this is actually more effective than cold water or ice because that really does is it affects the surface of the skin. This is affecting your core. So your reaction is much stronger and it actually helps you really with internal inflammation. In general, for athletes, ice baths help with inflammation. Mm -hmm. uh, this does a much better job at whole body inflammation. Can you tell us a little bit about like the gear that you wear in there? I'm assuming you don't go in there barefoot. I uh, know, yeah, you have to wear clogs in our case that withstand this temperature. Um, mm -hmm. And we also provide mittens because obviously extremities are the one of the one of the main things that can be damaged, I suppose, and also get uncomfortable more than anything else. All right, I'm just gonna pop in here, change into this robe, and get this cryo going. So what are some of the substances that like actually are like emitted out of this machine? We use liquid nitrogen. So liquid nitrogen is combined with air and then released inside the chamber. And the reason liquid nitrogen is used is because it's able to reach those really cold temperatures, the like cryogenic temperatures, which is everything below negative 110 degrees Celsius. It's freezing! I'm wiggling. Where am I at? Minutes. So now you, you have 50 seconds left. 50 seconds. What are the do's and don'ts before you have a session? Cryotherapy, despite the cold temperatures, is actually very safe. The main thing we tell our clients is to make sure that their skin is dry to mm -hmm. avoid any risk of frostbite. Now I feel like numb. Now I feel like I can okay. finish the 50 yeah. seconds. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Other than that, uh, you know, if you feel good, uh, oh, you know, and, and colds are something that we sometimes yeah. don't recommend you entering what? with this time of year. Mm -hmm. Love flus, we say you can't do that. Other than that, you know, anyone can use it. Uh, there's very few, uh, few issues. <laughs> It was so cold, but I feel rejuvenated. You should feel my leg, it's freezing. Can you tell us a little bit about the people, like your customers who are kind of obsessed with cryo? Like I'm mm -hmm. sure that like you've got a ton of athletes that are really obsessed with this. Definitely, I mean, New York people have a very busy lifestyle, so we get a mix of weekend warrior athletes, people that just want to be in better shape. Also a lot of clients come in for beauty reasons, mm -hmm. weight loss, body shaping, pre-red carpet, facial treatments, and so we have mm -hmm. a very long list of clients. Can you tell us a little bit about like, what the long-term effects of cryo are? Something interesting that a lot of people don't talk about here is, is depression. So in Europe, they use it a lot for depression and, and mood disorders. Mm. Um, because of a release of, of various hormones and serotonin, well, it helps people actually feel better after they use uh, cryotherapy. Another obvious use is uh, just generally anti-aging, yeah. um, which has to do with, with inflammation, but it's it's truly something that uh, a lot of people use it for. It makes your skin look better, makes you feel better. <laughs> you can't even do anything with the mitts on. <laughs> I highly suggest trying out cryotherapy. Um, I feel really rejuvenated right after the treatment, and I know that I will be less sore from my workout that I had earlier, and I think everyone should try it. It's just a really cool experience. I'd love to hear what you guys thought of cryotherapy. Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Girl's Guide, here.